Asteroid Bennu hurtling through space, it's been the target of a seven-year-long mission by NASA. The US Space Agency mapped Bennu for two years before its OSIRIS-REx spacecraft landed on the asteroid surface for a five-second smash and grab to collect the precious sample. The rocks and dust from Bennu were stowed in a capsule, which is now heading back to Earth. And scientists are excited to unlock answers to questions like, where did we come from? We're looking at material that existed before our planet did. In fact, some of it may have been from even before the solar system formed. So we're looking at the beginning of our story. Scientists will be doing research on these samples for decades. We'll be looking for evidence that there was hydration in the past on Bennu's surface, because all of these things are the sort of materials that were delivered to Earth that helped life flourish here. Asteroid Bennu itself is at least half a kilometre in size, taller than the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower. Bennu tops the list of NASA's most dangerous space rocks. Its orbit round the Sun can bring it close to our planet, but if it does hit Earth, it won't be in our lifetime. It's a very low likelihood of hitting the Earth, and that's more than 100 years in the future. But if we do need to do anything to deflect asteroid Bennu or another asteroid in the future, we are prepared. The capsule carrying samples from Bennu will speed into the Earth's atmosphere, but a heat shield and parachutes will slow its descent for a gentle touchdown in Utah's West Desert Sunday local time. The challenge will be to retrieve the 250 gram samples safe from contamination and then try to uncover the secrets of life it holds. Jenny Lavelle, ABC News.